So, I think the only people who criticize cheaters are the ones who can cheat themselves. I mean, just think of some typical ordinary guy, but doesn't cheat on his wife in principle. Great guy, right? And then he's sent on a business trip to Hooterville, this hellhole right here, for the annual millionaires conference. He gets a room in our hotel, yeah, room 108. And next door is Paris Hilton. She's got the Millionaire's Convention mixed up with the Millionaire's Convention. For fuck's sake. To the hotel, please. Can you tell me how to get there? And she falls in love at first sight, when this guy knocks on her door to see if she has an immersion heater. Who's there? You don't have an immersion heater, do you? Sorry, what? But don't forget, he's a faithful husband. Is there any way for him to refuse, huh? Well, let's say, there could be. There could be, but it would be because he has issues, he's afraid they won't be compatible. I mean, not because he's so faithful. Or there could be another reason. He is a dipshit. He could have had the biggest adventure in his whole life and he was like, nah. But on the other hand, can you imagine how much pleasure it would be to refuse in such circumstances? No, I can't. She comes. Her. Paris Hilton. Yes, I know. Stop. She comes and says, I'm yours. I love you. We just love Gavrilovich. And he's like, well, I don't love you. He takes his revenge on all chicks in her face. For the pimples of youth. For the girl in grade 9 who refused to dance. For the third year student who fell asleep right at the vital moment. The drunken bitch. Was it so bad? It was. He says to her. My dear Paris Hilton, behave yourself. I'm a married man, and you can keep your immersion here. And he sends her away. Son of a bitch. He's a disgrace to us all. It's okay, here comes his payback. He gets home and tells his wife the whole story, proudly. Well, first of all, because Paris Hilton was interested in him. And second, because he held his ground. But anyway, the wife starts questioning him. This happened, right? It did, didn't it? Look me in the eye. I can see it did happen. It doesn't happen. Why would I tell you otherwise? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, so you kissed, right? Kissed. You didn't kiss at all. Mm -hmm. I see. You hit on her. And she refused. I'm telling you, it was she who hit on me and I refused, I swear. Swear on what? On Gosha's health. Go back to sleep. Go on, son. Go. Honestly, nothing happened. Well, you turn her down. Very skilled. Yeah. Such a dish. And so she leaves him. Because how can anyone live with such a dipshit? To the dipshits. Boys? Oh, there you are. I've brought your bed sheets. Well, take them. 